Hi guys, this is Assignment Expert and in today's example we have two girls, Molly and Sally, participating in a running competition. Molly over here is 22 meters away from the finish line and she runs with the speed 4 meters per second. She is 5 meters away from Sally who runs with the speed 5 meters per second. Now Sally over here thinks that it's an easy win for her so she decides to run the rest of the race with a constant deceleration 0.5 meters per second. Let's find the speed of the molly when she reaches the finish line if she decides to make acceleration and finish at the same time as Sally. So, first of all we need to search the time needed for Sally to finish the race. For that let's use kinematic equation. x equals v0 times t plus one half at squared. Now, in our case, x, the distance will be 22 minus five. And this is equal to the initial speed, which is five times t plus one half times negative 0 0.5 times t squared. Okay. Now, from here we can get a quadratic equation uh, 0 0.25 t squared minus 5t plus 17 equals 0. And this equation allows us to obtain t as 5 plus minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 0 0.25 times 17 and divided by 2 times 0 0.25. So actually we get two results. One is t equals 15.7 seconds and the second is t equals 4.34 seconds. We in our example will use the second answer which is the smaller one, because the other answer is the time needed for Sally to finish the race, change direction, and then finish the race again. So we will stick with this value. All right, guys. So here we found the time needed for Sally to finish the race. Now let's assume that Molly makes an acceleration to finish at the same time as Sally. So we can again use this kinematic equation to find the acceleration of Molly. So, for Molly, we will have 22 equals 4 times 4.34 plus 1 half times A times 4.34 squared. And from here we get A, the acceleration of Molly, equals 0 0.493 meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration required for Molly to finish at the same time with Sally. Now, as we know the acceleration, we can find the resulting speed of the Molly at the finish line. For that, we need to recall another kinematic equation. V equals V0 plus AT. So in our case, we have 4 plus our acceleration. 0 0.493 times t, 4.34. And this gives us 6.14 meters per second. So here is the final speed of Molly if she finishes at the same time as Sally. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Goodbye.